you know, and get this started. Let me know when you see it live. I said, let me know when you see it live. Two minutes, no problem. Download the damn thumbnail. <laughs> Feet come for pop stars, BJ. It's not all about that. Okay. And we go public, save, check. Now we got the notification, but it was. Yep, there it is. Favorite armor is a bit goopy. Customs. Alright, I'm going to kill his stream here and pull it up on my phone so that that way I can read both chats. I think I'm going to go next. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I need to put in the microphone. So me and Havoc were against Popstar the other day. I don't go Goki. I don't go Goki nearly enough. Because you do this for Goki Goki. You saw me go against Popstar the other day? Cool. I don't know who that is. I do not know who that is. Not that I don't believe you, just I don't know who that is. Okay, let me pull up Havoc Stream. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna need to get me some new earbuds because that they're just effing up with me constantly. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Okay, so how... Hold on. Hello, everybody. So Raven Knight here. Uh, I know that many of you were expecting me to do uh, Persona 5 tonight, and that was the plan. That was actually the plan. But Havoc then hopped on and said that he was aiming to get to Rep 80 tonight. Tonight is the night. And so I want to help Havoc get there. So because Havoc has been so good to me and he's helped me out so much in the past, I said, you know what? We're going to postpone Persona 5 to Thursday, this coming Thursday. We'll do it then. But tonight, we're going to help Havoc get to Rep 80, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We are going to do some For Honor and help Havoc get there. So let's all cheer for Havoc as we push him to Rep 80. I'm going to give it 110% tonight. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird, my mic sounds weird. I did not have time to set up in my bedroom where the audio's a little better. I had to go with what I could. Thank you.
Uh, ganking Don Hoon and ganking Hito to start off the night. Ah, oh, man. And here I thought we'd have some fun. Come on, feed Havoc's Revenge. Feed Havoc's Revenge. That's the best part. Ah, oh, they, they ledged him. Feeling better today? I actually am. I am feeling a bit better today. Um, the antihistamines really help. I uh, still got some stuffy nose going on. And I still feel a little congested, but um, I am feeling a lot better today. With any luck, because I, I got to sleep in this morning. I just decided I was going to catch the online service at home. I could not go into church. I, was, I needed to sleep. Hey, Raven, study. I'm late. Hannah and I were having some fun. You and Hannah were having some fun. Oh, yeah, yeah y'all. you told me you were playing Genshin. Yeah, you told me that. Raven Knight here, what about Raven Knight there? Because if Raven Knight were there, then he wouldn't be here. And if he's not here, then what do we do? Ow. My fault. Okay, they always go for the parry. Noted. Revenge boys. Yes, thank you. you oh, come on. Come on. I still had my shield. What? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, um. Oh, by the way, Lark is in here with me, but he is playing. Uh, what you playing right now? Persona 3. Lark is playing Persona 3 right now, so he's kind of plugged in and won't be talking very much. Unless there's a direct question to ask. Yeah, so if y'all, so for once in, once in, like, l normally when uh, Lark and I do uh, Persona 5 streams, we try to be together when we do them, so uh, we already had everything set up for that, so Lark is actually with me tonight. Thank you. Good move. Damn it. Oh well. Almost had her. Almost had her. Almost had her. Get him, Shaolin. There you go. Thank you, God! What a turnaround! One of the guys has Havoc on his TV and you on his phone. Nice, nice. I can understand why Havoc's on the TV, man. He's he's better all around. Never seen Raven play Goki. I do not play Goki all that often. It is rare that I play Goki, so this is a this is a rare experience. I'm not bad with Goki by any means. I just find him a little boring. And also, I play go and also I play against so many toxic Gokies that it's kind of like, eh, I don't want to be toxic. No, oh, don't make me. I'll just sit here and boost, uh, boost C. That's what I'll do. Is there an order to playing Persona? Is there an order to playing Persona games? Um, I don't think any of the Persona games no. actually connect to each other. I'll hit you with a no. You could play any one of them in any whatever order you want. But if you play previous Persona games, you'll probably catch Easter eggs in later Persona games. Like, for example, Igor, the long-nosed dude who... Uh, I think he's in all of them. He, I think he's the same guy in all of them, yeah. Yeah, like, for example, the, the main Personas of your characters in 3, they pop up again in 4 as one you can pick up. Yeah, for sure.
Uh, why didn't the Bjorn go in the water? I threw him to the water! That sucks. Raven could 100 feet beat Havoc as a warden by writing lore on how Ruth is stronger. <laughs> yes, the lore determines it, right? The lore determines who is greater. Now, honestly, I wrote Ruth to be weaker than uh, Ultor because Ultor has done it a lot longer. He's fought a lot longer. Way more experience under his belt, and I thought that made more sense. Hashtag Nusha needs love. She does. If you play smart, you can be a monster with Nusha, but Nusha doesn't have a whole lot to her kit that I think makes her strong, at least in fours. In duels, she's scary. In fours, she's not. Wait, two of their own quit? Wow, their John Who and Yorm quit. Ain't that a kick in the head? Give me some. Yeah. Yeah, toxic goalkeeper to win, baby. <laughs> toxic goalkeeper to win. I got six kills. It was less than anyone else, but you know what? I, I still did well. Sadly, the writer determines who wins. Raven, I'll take your entire stock! How close is having to rep 80? He's literally one rep away. Literally. Alright, I'm getting rid of that. Adding Allied and adding Valiant. We'll play a knight here to round things out. Havoc says he's grabbing a drink, so we'll just go ahead and load into the next match. Alright, so I need to play a knight. Oh, what's this ad? Havoc stream got an ad. What is that? Oh, that monster no lot. That's monster no. What, what the fuck? I don't even know. Hey, Raven, what's your thoughts on the Yakuza games? I've actually never played them, believe it or not. I know, I know. Heresy, heresy. Raven doesn't play the cool games. It's Honestly, I didn't know much about them. So, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go Richard Blackthorn. Or Freedom Bringer. Or the Impaler. I'm just saying we'll go a Law Ringer. You know what? I haven't done my Impaler in a while. Let's do her. Let's do my impaler. Let's let's throw her out there. Hey, unsung Ruth. Yay, unsung Ruth. Keep keep hitting him with that. Let Ubisoft know her name is Ruth. All right, we're up against Hito, Griffin, Lawbringer, and Zerk. This will be interesting. Oh, I got something from my buddy Aaron. Hold on, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Well, once the once the match starts, I'll pull us out. Because I can't back us out now. I can't I can't back out without leaving the group. Don't tell him. Okay, I've just told him. Um anyway,
That's interesting. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, had some messages from friends I needed to answer. All right. Let Havoc, let me know when you're when you're good. Hold on. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Have exactly I'm good. I'm, I'm great. I'm good, man. Oh, oh, he wanted me to find a new lobby. My fault. My fault. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I did not know. I did not know. It's not always easy being the middleman here. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Alright, let's try that again. Right, same thing, we're still going the Impaler. Hey Raven, how's your weekend going? You sound much better? Yeah, I feel much better. Oh, $20 from Dale Exhort. Hey Raven, it's been a while, so I've recently started praying to God and started my journey. I was nervous at first, but I'm slowly starting praying regularly. Can't, st can't stay, but have a good stream. Hey man, that is awesome. I'm glad that you're starting to work on your relationship with God. That is fantastic. Um, if you have questions or concerns, don't hesitate to ask. We'll help in any way we can. Um, I would recommend your next step now that you've started praying more, find, um, it doesn't have to be a full on church. I mean, I would recommend a church home, but find some people of like-minded, um, faith, you know, who are in similar walks, usually people of the similar age to you who can help grow your faith. Because the Bible says iron sharpens iron. That definitely will help you out. Thank you for the $20. Thank you for the donation and praise be to God. I'm glad that you're starting that walk. That's awesome. That is very, very awesome. You must be green to be in this squad. But what are you talking about? I'm not green. Do I look like John DeLiner? I'm not nearly so smooth. Okay, John, DeL John DeLiner is a freaking beast at this game. My favorite legend of yours is Team Wah and Ruth. Ah, yes. Team Wah and Ruth. Ruth is awesome. Team Wah is underrated. Yes, I've sailed into this port. Thanks all. <laughs> I've sailed into this port. I've sailed into it. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises early in the morn. Oof, Raven doesn't know Russian Badger reference. Oh, is a Russian Badger? Yeah, I missed that. I, I totally missed that. Oh, he caught me. Crap. Crap. Ah, oh, Rochi. Titan. Fricker, you just stood back there and waited. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Guy on YouTube doing sea shanties and did one of the Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. How do you turn I want it that way into a sea shanty? That, that's weird to me. That is very weird to me. I have heard some songs from the Shanties, like um, I've heard uh, We All Want to Be Rock Stars by uh, Nickelback turn into a sea shanty. That was pretty awesome. That was actually pretty awesome. Oh, oh, because the crew said, did the tell me why, it did the callback and... Uh, so the crew did the callbacks and the captain was the lead. Ah, okay, I get it. Good! Oh, what a team up! Pew! Nice! Uh, I'm not sure why my favorite legend is by Lamia. Lamia? Thank goodness someone liked that one. I feel like no one liked Lamia for some reason. Here you go, bro. I got you.
Ah, oh, come on, that light shouldn't have caught. I dodged. Ah. Um, anyway. I haven't been to a church in a while, at least physically. Went into one, father goes into one, I go to him. My relationship with him is very bad. Narcissism on his part has soured our relationship. Narcissism can do that. No question. No question. Um, for me, I, I choose... The church that I go to is pretty awesome, but when I look for a church home, I'm looking for the congregation's faith, really. And that isn't always easy to discern on a first visit. You have to go a few times to really get a feel for it, I feel like. Um, but we were lucky. We found a very good church home early on, so there's that. And Orochi runs once he gets the chance. Crap. What? What? I could have pit. Ah, game. Why you do this to me? Game. Runner, I know I'm not this bad. Why you make me look this bad? Uh... Uh, Lonnie is a good legend story. I like the dark and gritty. I like having my emotions played with. I got a lot of comments from people saying they didn't like it because they said that it had, it, it mentioned, and I didn't go into detail on it, but it mentioned Lamia being sexually assaulted. And, well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if that upset anybody. I really am. But that, you know, that is something that happened, especially in Arabic territories in the Middle Ages. This was not an uncommon issue. It's not a pretty thing, but it was an issue that was dealt with. and I whooped you. That's how it goes. That's how it goes in the south right there. You get a little bit too full. You get a little bit too big for your britches. And now he's got a friend, so he's going to be mad. He's got a friend now. You got a friend. There we go. Anyway, um... So, Raven, are you planning to continue Revenant King and Knight Riders? My mom usually enjoys those stories. I don't know. I don't know. No one really reads my stories anymore, so I don't know. I may just leave all my reading to my Monday night reading streams, because uploading my stories that I read, no one seems to really care for. No one seems to read those, so I, I don't see any need to. Um, I just It's not that I don't want to, it's that I see no reason. Like, my Death Diary entry that I just released the other day, I just moved it to the Easter one. Um, after literally 24 hours, no one has really read it. No, no, no one, I've gotten... Two comments, and they're all from the same person. Roll away and do your... <laughs> oh my god, a coward! Okay! What a coward. I love this Varengian, guys. This Varengian is the epitome of a bitch. Will we get to know how they got together? Probably not. I'll leave that a mystery. Hey, Raider, in your Raider Legend story, how does Helena and Boshin get together? I'm leaving that a mystery. I don't want to tell everything. It's kind of a mystery. Will the journey of the West Raider be continued? Again, I, I don't think so. People don't care for when I read shit. Oh, look at this little girl running. Look at this little girl running. I get you. I get you. You're a bitch. I understand. 
wanted to hide behind your little Roman brother, right? Yeah, wanted to hide behind your little Roman baby, right? You little bitch. You little bitch. That doesn't surprise me one bit. Raven, which one of your legends would you like to have as a friend and one you definitely wouldn't? Uh, Ruth would be a good friend. Um, Bao Shen would be a friend. Uh, I wouldn't want to be friends with Gaius. They shouldn't be diminishing Christianity. They should be diminishing the people in it. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. No, Raven, you'll have one day. You'll have your work recognized. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. My writing gets very few views or attention. Your friend has come to save your sorry hide. Oh, I hate this Varengian. I hate him. I hate him with a passion. He he runs away from everything. He runs away and then constantly just mixes up his bash and lights. It is so sad. It is so sad. Oh, I hate Varengians like that. I hate players like that. Just stand your ground and fight, you coward. Don't run. Don't run like a bitch. Stand your ground and fight. If you, I do. If you lose, you lose. You know, that's how it goes. But don't run. I mean, I hate how people use Christianity to justify violence. Who does that? Who in recent years has used Christianity to justify violence? I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I just want to know what people are we talking about. Run away, Sint! Run away, Sint! Come on! What? You? What's wrong, Sint? What's wrong, Sint Varengian? You want okay? Yeah, get the gang together. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come out here. Come fight me. Oh, I mean, if you want to wait for your friends, I can wait for mine. I can wait for mine. We can all just wait for our buddies. Come on. I don't mind waiting for my buddies. We can have a good old time. Come on. Oh, it's cute. That's cute. Ha! <laughs> One jumped to her literal death. And they both did! So I'm willing to bet they were friends. I'm willing to bet they were friends. Uh, that's probably what it was. I'm willing to bet the Scent and the uh, Varengia were friends. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's cute. That's cute. Saw me coming. Knew they weren't going to win it. Ran for it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. That is, so, that is so cringe. That is so cringe. Here's the thing. I can't say if they were good players or not. The way they played was so awful. Good ganking tactics, but... Mm. Mm. When you play like that, it pisses me off. When people play like that, it pisses me off. Because it doesn't take any skill to just spam the same moves over and over again. Do you enjoy writing bad guys? I remember the first bad guy I enjoyed was Ty Long. Yeah, I enjoy writing bad guys. Well, I enjoy writing Raven. I think you're phenomenal. Yeah, Tech, I appreciate that. But you're one person... I'm talking about the collective. I'm starting to think Varengian should be removed. Yeah, sometimes I wonder. Man, everyone on their team quit. I love it. I love this. I love how that went down. All right, so. Oh, wait, I need to adjust my orders, don't I? What are my orders? I have Valiant, I have Storied, and I have Strong. Alright. Need to play a Strong? Let's go Varengian ourselves! Let's embrace the cringe! Um, anyway. Um, any chance of Persona tonight? I don't think so. We're probably gonna, um, we're probably gonna move that to Thursday. We're probably gonna move that to Thursday. Because the plan was to do Persona, but then Havoc asked if I'd be willing to play with him in 4v4s tonight. And I want to help him get to rep 80, because I think tonight he's finally going to get there. So we're going to help him do that, and then on Thursday we'll do Persona. Oh, is that a Blood Angel emblem? Look, I've got a Blood Angel. I think that's a Blood Angel emblem. 
Yeah, it is. All right, all right. And it looks like he may be a cornate conqueror. Wrong red for a cornate, but. Actually, no, it's better red. Right? It's close, but there's a better red he could use. He could well, use. Again, he, like you have to go off the trifecta color wheel. Uh, well, he could go. He could. He could have just gone cinnabar. What weapon do you want the new samurai to have? Well, I don't know what on earth they could pull from. I mean, Yari. I want a Yari. Let's do Yari Spear. Let's do that. I don't think Varengian is cringe. I think Varengian just... I think that Varengian in particular played awful. I'm wanting the new samurai to be a vanguard, though. Nah. Nah, I'm, I don't really care what, what class they are. The class really doesn't matter to me. Yari Ashigaru Kachi. So this ne. There you go. Good parry. Good! Whoa, whoa what a deflect. Dang. I couldn't have pulled that off. I hate people leaving mid-match. It is annoying, isn't it? Uh, I guess uh, Havoc lost to the Ocelotl. No, no surprise. Ocelotls are cringe. Um, will the Shinobi from her from your le How to Build Legend ever Legend drop soon? Um, yeah, probably. I'll probably work on that soon. I'll probably work on that soon. I need to be playing cringe now. It's my turn. It's my turn to be the cringe. Anyway. Hey, Raven, did you see the Star Wars Acolyte trailer? The comment section for it is really funny. It's just people making fun of it. I haven't seen it. I don't want to see it. I don't care. Star Wars is pretty much dead to me. I, I can't even watch Star Wars anymore. You know, that that's, that's the sad part. I know that the other movies, like the original trilogy and the prequels, are objectively better than the sequels and better than anything that Star Wars ha that has been put out by Star Wars recently. And yet, I just can't bring myself to watch it. I just cannot. Well, when, when George Lucas turned to the dark side, I knew Star Wars is dead. Star Wars is dead. Oh crap. Okay, good parry. Good move. Dang. Law running in to save his buddy. Cringe furry. Anyway. Not even Clone Wars? Clone Wars is incredibly overrated. I like aspects about Clone Wars. There are things about Clone Wars that are good, but I do think it's overrated. And let me put it this way. If the only good thing we can say about the post prequel Star Wars is uh, the Clone Wars, that is not a good thing. 
All right, he's resorted to parrying everything, so we'll take advantage of that. Oh crap, I thought he was going for an attack. No! Damn it. How can you do it to me, Havoc? How can you do it to me? Ah. I'm glad you like Clone Wars Thund Lord Thunder, and you're free to. I like I like a few seasons of Clone Wars, but I can't look at Clone Wars and say, oh, objectively good. Like this is I think that there are problems with it. I think there are real problems with it. I don't think that it's bad necessarily. I just don't think I think it's overrated, that's all. Good move. Crap, why'd I go for the top? Oh, dang it, I thought he was gonna faint out of him and do a light. Oh. Okay, all right, all right. Mm, that was that was my bad. Uh, anyway, uh, I've come to the realization the only thing I remember fond about the Clone Wars was when it had to do something with Darth Maul. Other than that, just, well, it was good, it's my childhood. Exactly, exactly. You look at it and you say, oh look, Yoda being cool, Ashoka's kind of fun, Anakin and Obi-Wan having funny banter, the clones are kind of neat, there are cool things about it, but in terms of story, I just was very underwhelmed. Our team is breaking. Our team's breaking? Really? This guy's figured out to just parry everything. Crap. Dang it. That sucks. <laughs> anyway, um, Raven, what would you say needed work in Clone Wars? I'm just interested in how you would make it. I wouldn't have even focused on the Jedi, you know? I would literally have just focused on a, a specific squad. Let's focus on one squad of clone troopers and focus on their adventures. Don't be afraid to get a little bit gritty. Don't be afraid to get a little bit I I intense. Because I think one of the problems that the Clone Wars TV show had is it didn't know if it wanted to be child-friendly or if it wanted to be uh, adult-oriented, you know? I out brain dead the Ocelot. How did I do that? How did I brain dead the ocelot? It shouldn't be possible. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know why one of their teammates quit. Who quit? Wait, what just happened? Ah, dang it. How'd I do? Nine kills? That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. And also, Lato, bury the also. <laughs> How do you beat the ocelot? Parry the ocelot. <laughs> uh, I don't even like Phineas and Ferb, and I love those jokes. I love those memes. Honestly, the best thing about Phineas and Ferb is everything having to do with Perry the Platypus and uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Those two, I would watch it if it was just about them, okay? I don't care. Oh, whoa, Chicken Lover is, which one are you? The conk! Man, well, you're definitely a blood angel. Your cringe is fu- <laughs> Nah, he's just going through the black rage right now. <laughs> he's going through the- No, if he was going through the black rage, you're going- <laughs> Man. Do you want to pull out of this one, Havoc, or do you want to keep going? Clone Wars wasn't afraid to go PG-13. I'll give it that. As like, it, it, it had some PG-13 moments. I'm not saying it didn't. But there were times where the where it, it didn't feel like it knew if it wanted to be that or not. Like, there would be one episode, very dark, very gritty, very adult. Very next episode, child-friendly and cutesy. And I'm like, was it? All right, chicken lover, you're about to get the whole gang back together. You sure you want to thank us after that? You sure you want to stick around, chicken lover 6000? Come on, conk. You, you want to do this? You want to do this? Mm, he wants to do it. He wants to do it. Okay. Jamal, Jamal under a cloud, cloud strike skin. Just swinging that big fucking... Hold on. It, it, uh, Havoc stream was screwing up on me one second. There we go. Alright, I think I need to play a night now. Let's go. I have not gone warmonger in a hot minute, have I? Have I gone war warmonger in a hot minute? Uh, let me check my orders first. What are my orders? Uh, storied, Valiant, Strong. I still need to play a Strong. Um, okay, change that. We can go Conk. We can go Black Prior. We can go... Uh, no, we can we can go Warmonger. We still got that Knight order, so let's go Warmonger. Let's do that. Let's go Warmonger. I, th I think that the Clone Wars was catering to kids, but then the audience matured, and perhaps so did the show with the audience. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's 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 see how Chicken Lover 6000 behaves. Let's see. Then you got Teen Titans Go. Um... You got Teen Titans, yeah, and Steven Universe and Bears Bears, which is just peak mindless stupidity. I mean, I miss when cartoons went dark at times. Oh, no question, no question, bro. And you know what? If we're if we're looking at things objectively, I would say Clone Wars is way better than any of those current shows that people love so much. Like, I would say I would take Clone Wars any day of the week over the majority of TV shows for kids out today. Clone Wars had its really good moments. I just think that what happens is here's what happens, and this is what annoys me. If I were to say that most everything coming out of Lucasfilms recently is bad, everyone does the same thing. They say, well, Clone Wars, as if that somehow, like, Lucasfilm is not beyond reproach. And I say, Clone Wars is fine. It is not the end-all to beat-all. It has flaws. And I would say it doesn't excuse the rest of the crap we get. Even if Clone Wars is perfect, which I don't think it is, even if Clone Wars was perfect, I still don't think that it should be an excuse, you know? But that's just me. Maybe, that's just me. All right. Here we go. Gladiator! Oh, good catch. Good catch. All right. He knows... Ah, man, I had that gladiator for Rochi hadn't come to save him. Ah, that sucks, that sucks. 
Don't give me a good fight, Mad Dog. You, you, you got saved, bro. Anyway. Um... But yeah, every most everything that comes out in today's day and age is just shit. And I'll be honest, Lark and I were just talking about this. We are sick of the attention that is being given to Vizzy Pop right now. We are just getting oversaturated with Hell of a Boss and Hasbun Hotel. It has just been way too overdone. Okay, good catch. Zariel will have her day. Yeah, glad to tell them not this toast to have extreme fidgeting. <sighs> but the toes! <laughs> they got this thing about feet! Hey, I ain't no raven, but really, congrats. Uh, congrats about what? What's going on? I'm confused. Oh, good light parry. Holy crap. Wait, how come you can parry that? I thought that my iframes took advantage there. I thought that my... D -d 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 wow, dude. Really? You... Real? This dude had to get two buddies to help him out and he thinks he earned that? Okay. Okay. We'll see about that, you light, you light pairing mother. Okay, we'll see about that. Let's see how you like a little taste of Rona. Ooh, let's social distance, boys. Good move. Good light, Perry. Holy crap. How come I didn't guard break you? How come I didn't guard break that? That made no sense to me. I want to know how I didn't guard break him. That's what I want to know. I literally was going for the guard break and somehow I didn't get it. Man, this guy is fucking cringe. Okay. Man. Okay, y'all, y'all know what to do. If you ever run into Chicken Lover 6000, just avoid him. My goodness, he's a very friendly fella, isn't he? Man, this guy, it's, it's people like that that make this game hard to play.
Mad Dog, you're not going to give me a good fight for that? Thank you. It's better. Oh well. Yeah, let's find let's find another group. Let's find another group. I'm not playing these people again. That conk is a, that conk is very annoying. That that was that that was a very annoying fight. And here comes the thanks. I guarantee, I guarantee it's on its way. No? Oh, he's not going to do it? Okay. Well, we're finding a new group. We're finding a new group. That was crunch. Sorry, can we uh, re here? Yeah. Yeah. I was... I was... Honestly, bro, I was going to re-queue even if you said otherwise. Let's be honest. Yeah, Everyone wants at rep seven with Shinobi. Cool, man. Keep working at it. You're getting there. If you're legend born today, what would they do for work as or as a hobby? I don't know. I'd have to really think about that, and I don't want to put forth the brain power. Hey, why are cats big in Japan? Oh, lots of reasons. Cats have a lot of uh, social and mythical implications. In fact, you can find cat legends and myth all over the world. Cats and dogs have tons of relation to different stuff. So I guess it would depend on specifically what kind of cat you're talking about. You know, some of the samurai would work with hibachi. Oh, I'd work with hibachi all day. I'd eat that hibachi. I want some hibachi. Mark, we need to go get hibachi. Ow. <laughs> Jonathan DeFoy, hey, how you doing, man? All right. Well, that last match didn't quite go our way, but you know it will go our way. Let's go. My brand new Black Prior look. Let's go to Black Prior. Anyway. No, I'm good all night, bro. Let me let Havoc know I'm good as long as he wants. Hold on. It looks like my messages aren't going through. Hold on, let me let me leave Havoc's stream and go back in. I didn't hear what he said. Does he want me to say or does he want me to bugger off? Y'all, some, someone in chat, someone in chat asked him because I don't want to be annoying in his chat. Someone in chat asked him if he wants me to keep playing with him because I, I don't want to be an asshole and keep like, do you want me to stay? Do you want me to stay? Do you want? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Raven Black Prior, Iana win. <laughs> Black Prior, Iana. Oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious. I don't know who Iana would be if Iana were, um, a For Honor character. Um, if Iana were a For Honor character, I mean, she'd be a female, t uh, Magi, I feel like. Come on, brother. Start running! Start running! <laughs> Look at him go! That boy sure is a running fool. Oh no, you! D oh crap! It was Peacekeeper. I thought it was. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh...
Okay, what? What? <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, does anyone here live in Atlanta? Uh, I think Aaron does. We need more Raven playing R6. Anytime I ask my community if they want me to play Rainbow Six Siege, they say no. Literally, I put it up there in a poll one time. It was the only option not to get a single vote. I, look, here's the thing. People always tell me. This isn't being mean to you guys. I'm being honest here. People tell me all the time, Raven, you should play what you enjoy. I enjoy a lot of things. Sometimes I need y'all's help telling me... Hold on. Sometimes I need y'all's help narrowing it down. I fell for that one. What happened there? There you go. Do you have any Black, Black Prior tips, Raven? Um, don't, my only tip with Black Prior that I can give is don't always rely on your Bulwark stance because lots of players expect it. Dude, Nock has a beautiful elite skin. Yes, she does. That is such a good elite skin. Not even lying. That is such a beautiful elite skin. Top tier. Top tier. Okay, I should have seen that. Oh. Man, that that's hard to hear. Havoc over here dissing me in his own stream. Okay, well I, I won't I won't do that anymore. Back up. I don't want to feed his revenge. I don't want to feed his revenge. I don't want to feed his revenge. No, no. Fight, fight him. He's better than me. Fight him. He's better than me. I don't want to feed his revenge. No, stop it, sir. Don't. Don't do it. There. That's better. I, I will no longer gank. I feel, I feel really bad now. Hey, Raymond, since you didn't get a chance last night, can you talk about the history that has taken place during the Rise of the Ronin? Um, it's just before the Boshin War, during the ending of the uh, Bakufu period, the Shogunate period. Um, okay, good light, Perry. Okay. Um, but essentially, um, I'm not sure if you have it. Did you know, play or know about the Nier series? Yeah, I know about it. I, I've only played a little bit. I haven't played much. But yeah, but back to the uh, Ronin thing. Um, it's basically, you're just playing a character who's going through all this time. And essentially, what was happening was uh, uh, Japan at this point was practicing Sokoku, which is basically closed country policy. They weren't letting uh, foreigners in or out of the nation. They, were le they weren't letting foreigners into the nation to trade. 
I gotta, I gotta heal, bro. Stop. Good. All right, I died. Anyway, um, uh. Still making fun of my ganking ability. Oh man, I okay. All right, I'm sorry, Havoc. I feel really bad now. No, you fight him. You fight him. I'm not gonna feed his revenge. I, I'm not gonna do that. You fight him. I'm going to be. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Didn't do better, prove him wrong. That's a problem, Drew. I don't I can't do better. I am really bad at this game. Havoc knows it, and that's why he said what he did. Okay? So I'm feeling really shitty right now, because I know he's right. Mike, do you think I'm a good player? I don't think I am, honestly. <laughs> um, I, I do not think I am a good player. I think that I am lucky. I think that I am lucky. No, y'all, don't, don't go to Havoc's chat about this. Don't go to Havoc's chat. It's fine. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's fine. Knight and strong. I still need to do a knight, so let's go.
I mean, I don't beat yourself up, man. That's unhealthy. You, you don't know me very well. I am a professional of beating myself up. I am. I am. I am. I am all. I am terrible at this game, and I beat myself up because it's what I'm good at. That is what I'm good at. Hey, Raven, going to make it an early night, but it's fun popping into your stream as usual. Have a good night, everyone. Hey, man, thanks. Appreciate it. Let's check how Havoc's doing. I'm just going to go ahead and try and use it, like, completely. That's just, yeah, that's just like a full time bomb. Yeah. Raven with Raven's riding ability, but being on something must be brutal. Oh, believe me, I, I no one's harder on me than me. side you're hanging out with Havoc. It is true. I am hanging out with Havoc. I just hate that I can't be on his level, too. I look forward to tomorrow's stream, Raven, and the next videos and streams to come. Appreciate that, man. I do. I really do. Don't get the wrong idea. Here's the thing. Um, I'm not mad at Havoc or anything. Like, I'm not upset with Havoc or anything. I, he, said, he said that he was joking when he said that, which, hey, you know, that's fine. Really, I'm beating myself up because he's right. He's right. I was, I keep rushing into those ganks and feeding the enemy's revenge when that's not helping anyone. So I'm kind of beating myself up. Even if he was joking, I'm mad at myself. And later in the match, he brought it up again, and it just made me feel worse about myself. He's not making me feel bad. I'm making myself feel bad. Don't, don't blame Havoc. Don't blame Havoc for that. It is on me. If anyone's making me feel bad, it is me, because no one makes me feel bad the way I do. Isn't that right, Lark? Yep. Oh, I didn't even see that meds out there. That was my fault. But yeah, don't, don't it, none of none of this is on Havoc. Okay, it's on me. I'm the one who's been playing crappy. That's all there is to it. I'm the one who's been playing crappy. Raven feeds revenge because he does not fear revenge. That's not entirely true. I'm terrified of revenge. I think I feed revenge just because I believe in feeding the hungry. <laughs> I got I got to feed the hungry. I got to help the needy in the world, you know, and sometimes that means feeding feeding the toxic, you know.
Shaman, you made one fatal flaw in your plan. You fought me alone. That was your fatal flaw. See, there's one benefit to being stupid. Smart people do not expect you to be stupid. Anyway, Raven as he's being Mortal Kombat brutalized with revenge. This is fine so long as I'm making him happy. <laughs> you know what, Aaron? That's actually that's actually pretty that's actually pretty accurate to me. I am this kind of guy who I will take the punishment, but as long as I know someone else is benefiting, I'm okay with it. Like. I, I am very much that kind of guy. I will bleed if it means someone else is fed. If that makes sense. Hi, we do this again? Again, your fatal flaw. Let me put that up here. That's right. You know, I put that. I just realized I put that flail handle in the in the glory hole. <laughs> I put that in the place I shouldn't have put it. Mm. That's uh. That happened. <laughs> I deeply apologize there, bro. I'll pick you up. No, I don't want to talk about where I just put my mace handle. Okay? I don't know. I want to talk about that. I refuse to be useless anymore. Oh, Varingian finally got me.
brave in making the soccer coach with I refuse to be useless. It's true. I'm tired of bringing my team down. I'm tired of being useless. Time for me to actually be helpful. Did he do it? Did Havoc make it? No, he's still level 17. He's got three more to go. Level 17, boys. People want me to play Warlord? All right. Up. Oh. That's the Lord left? Hold on. I'm pulling back in. Oh. Alright, well, let's let him figure that out. I can, if, Havoc, if you want me to pull out, I can. Like, I understand. Send him a message so we can move. Let me send him a message. If he wants me out. sure that everyone gets their chance, you know. Jonathan, I got you. I'll play Warlord. I got it. Do it. Time to go, Warlord. That's what I was at. That's what was being asked for. Warlord, it is. Time to play Einar Goldarson. Anyway, Harry, what scene from One Piece made you cry the most? I would say for me, Jaguar he saw being frozen, or Doctor Hero looks death scene. Um, my biggest sad moment in One Piece was uh, seeing Robin's backstory, like that whole thing, and then her screaming, "I want to live." I actually did tear up at that. I also teared up at Brooke's backstory, uh, particularly um, uh, when he's when he and his crew are singing. Uh, Binks' is brew uh, for the last time together for Laboon, and then he dies there. That that was really tear jerky. Like I actually really that that hurt. That actually hurt. Um, I was so sad. <laughs> I was so sad. Um, so that, that that's definitely one. Gonna get it here at a rep 80. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you know, I might just get my warden to rep 80. I might, I might get Root to rep 80, yeah. Not tonight, but eventually I will do, like, a stream where I play nothing but warden. Teamwork. Key with Warlord. Hyper armor for days. Hyper armor for days. Hyper armor for days. That's Warlord's claim to fame. You want to take a Warlord, you better be prepared to pu be punished. Because Warlord will trade all day. Warlord is a beast like that. Oh no, you don't. I ain't to fall in for that. I was dipping into my Doofenshmirtz voice. That's the thing about Warlord. You can't just run into Warlord and think that you can't take advantage of Hyper Armor. That's the funny thing. Hyper Armor... P P Patty, are you listening to me? <laughs> The title will be the Ruth Crusade. Yeah, that'd be actually kind of cool. Aaron, Hanny, y'all still there? Did I scare y'all off? You think I didn't see that coming? Oh, good kill! Let's go over here. Let's you and me have a talk. 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 <laughs> A casual? Patty the casual! As I said, hyper armor! But, oh god. Shaman, when did you get here? Shaman! Anyway. Okay, they're both still here. Cool. What if reps are years? Then I'm 1,000 years old. Back in my day... How am I doing, by the way? Seven kills, one death. Oh, Einar. Einar's carrying me all the way. I better go help out over here. He's getting ganked. Now see. See. Alright, he's decided to parry everything. That's fine. But you forgot. I can hyper armor. For days.
I'm here to I'm here to be the wingman. I'm here to be the wingman. I'm get I'm get I'm Einar should not have come to this fight. Einar should not have come. He's making them all look weak. Oh, I was I was looking at chat. I'm sorry, Warlord. I'll pay attention to you. We won that one. Yeah. Yeah. Praise me. <laughs> uh. Help me, Odin. You're my only hope. <laughs> Imagine that in Star Wars. Help me, Odin, Juan Kenobi. <laughs> Help me, Odin, Juan, and Toby. <laughs> Do I feel better? Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, per the here's the thing. I think I think y'all misunderstood what was wrong earlier when I was upset. Okay. So here's the thing. I was not upset with Havoc. I was not upset with Havoc. I was upset with myself because I was making mistakes and Havoc called me on them. And I realized when he said it, yeah, this is me making a mistake. I'm feeding revenge too much. I'm just running in and th hitting buttons rather than actually doing what I need to do to help out. And so I was upset with myself. And so I was kind of like being hard on myself going, you know, I need to back up. I need to stop doing this. And then Havoc brought it up again earlier because he was, he was making a joke about it. And that, and I was like, ah, he, cause he's right. He's right. You know, he was right. And so I was beating myself up about making the same mistake. That's all there was to it. I wasn't upset with Havoc. I was upset with, upset with myself. But as we moved through the matches and I was playing more, I was not making the same mistakes. Now I'm back to my normal self. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. None of that. I'm not upset with Havoc. I'm not upset with his team or his community or the stream. I'm not upset with the game. I'm upset with myself. I'm upset. I was upset with myself. So anyone who thinks Man Ra Raven was Havoc being mean to you, no. He was, he was making a joke about me. That's all. Where was Havoc when the West Bull fell? What was Havoc when... No, no, say it. Where was Havoc when... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have some XP boost left. But I didn't decide who to play. Um, I haven't gone an Outlander all day. Let's go Team Wah. Anyway, um, Raven, I, I personally just hate seeing self-hate for oneself, even if it makes me a hypocrite because I hate myself. Yeah, I can hear you, Havoc. Someone let him know I can hear him. I just... I, I, gave you, I gave you an XP boost. Is that name Vessel Lord? I told you it's with a zero. The, the, the capital O in Lord is a zero. The number zero. <laughs> Oh, you're right, you're right. I do need to go mid. I need to go mid. Medjai is mid-king. Medjai is the mid-king. 
the mid jive. <laughs> He's the mid jive. Abigail and For Honor, if Medjai could be a chick, you'd be 100% right. Alright, I better go uh, back up and see, because it looks like he's having some trouble. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't die. Don't die. I'm coming. Don't die. Don't die. Well, he died. Crap. Fell for that one. It's my fault. It's my fault. That that was me. My bad. Oh, well, I gotta kill at least. That that that's something. <laughs> I like Havoc. This is what happens when it's a duel. <laughs> hey, Raymond, do you think that with 1,000 plus years of war that they would develop more advanced weapons or technology? Honestly, no. Because war, uh, war, like, when your entire country is embroiled in a massive civil war, technology tends to stagnate. Because you, you need an area where civilians can craft and build and innovate new technology. And you're not going to see that in a world completely wrapped up in war. That's part of the reason why Warhammer 40k is the way it is. Oh man, we're, we're up against this kind of Nobushi. When a Nobushi knows how to light parry. Uh, and there are no Chiha too. This is so cringe. Why? Yugen X Uchi? What's Yugen X Uchi? Oh man, that... Oh, this Nobu's cringe! I'm not fighting him. Um. Let's see if I can't help out Havoc and A. Maybe I can help him there. Trade that all day, Havoc. Way to go, bro. Way to go. See, when Havoc's doing it on his own, he's he's unstoppable. Yeah, Raven, just look at the Pax Romana. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God, and Uchiha is the worst. Yes, yes it is. Uchiha's are the worst, unquestionably. They are the most cringe. Alright, going to see, going to see, going to see, going to see, going to see. Hold on. Hold on, goo. Hold on, goo. Ah, oh, you bitch. Threw your freaking uh, arrow storm at us. Leave it to a team of Nobus who just do nothing but light spam. Oh, God. So cringe. Wait, are all three of them just sitting in zone C to shit on us? Oh, it's so cringe, guys. Come on. You're better than... No, well, okay, maybe you're not better than this. But you should be better than this. See, look at these guys. Look at them. Man, run away, Uchiha. That's what Uchiha's do best, you know. That's what Uchiha's do best. I mean, just ask Sasuke. He ran away from his problems, too, and became the biggest edge lord in anime. And I'm, put, and I, I'm, and I'm adding Berserker to that. Ber Berserk, I'm, I'm adding that. I'm adding that to the list of edge lords. Sasuke is way more of an edge lord than Berserk. At least Berserk was trying to find happiness. Sasuke didn't even try that. I think what you mean to say is at least Guts was likable. Yeah, Guts was way more likable than Char than Sharangan spamming motherfucker. Oh! Start running! Start running! 
no. Oh, yes. I knew you'd do it. Y'all, okay. Cringest Nobu I've ever fought. I'm wasting her. Wasting her. Once her buddy run, runs away and drops a feed on me. Cringe. Epitom of cringe. I am so... I am so salty about that right now that I actually couldn't even say epitome correctly. I said epitome. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, I, it's not funny. It's cringe, like I said. Oh, that was awful. That was so awful. Shame. Everyone, shame on this Nobushi. Shame on them for that awful tactic. Oh, that was awful. Oh, that was awful. Oh. The For Honor Gods frown upon you for that terrible strat. That was so cringe. Oh my lord. Where are you going, Thunder? Whoops. Possible, Tovarich. Dude, what is with you, bro? Hey. What happened there, bro? What happened there, Nobu? Did it, you, your feet didn't win the day? Your feet didn't win the day? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I look like a shame. Shame. Oh, waiting for the light parry. Okay. Ah, uh, whole match is cringe. Wait, wait, which ones are you going to... Oh my gosh, the Nobus are friends. They're both Uchiha clan running. Oh my, that, that, now everything makes sense. Now everything makes sense. I understand perfectly. The, the two weebs have stuck together for, for, for protection. Uh, Draconite should have just stayed a bioweapon for the warmongers. Ubi went too far with it. Uh, you mean like in lore? If I ever want to smile, I watch Killer B versus Sasuke. If I ever want to smile, I watch any meme video where people shit on Sasuke. You know, you know what's sad? You know what's sad? I prefer Sasuke and Baruto. I prefer, I prefer all of the original Naruto characters in Baruto. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. Yeah, and Lord, yeah, okay. What I want to know is how did they spread it all around so fast? You know what's sad? Tens. Tintin. Tintin was a character who I should have loved, okay? Chinese aesthetic, which I like. Weapon Master, which I like. Cute design, good voice actress. I should have liked everything about that character. The way they treated her, garbage. Dog shit. Dog shit the way they treated Tintin. The swing had more screen time. I'm backing out. Backing out, bro. Um, but yeah, um, Tintin was just shot because for, Tintin's first fight was against Tamari and she threw everything. She was, why didn't she move in and use her weapons? Close the distance. She threw, she threw weapons that are not meant to be thrown. She threw weapons that are not even meant to be thrown. And I'm like, why, why would you do this? And then after that, she just does nothing. I can't remember any battle she's in where she was where she was at all relevant. And that's the thing. She should be awesome. A weapons user? Come on. That should be kick ass. No. One breach match. I would rather slide my finger down. <laughs> Someone asked Havoc if he should if he would play breach to get the um to get the uh 
<laughs> just get it faster. And he said, I would rather slide my finger down my pee hole. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Havoc. <laughs> I will not ask you to do that. <laughs> Hold on, I'll jump on a stream and ask her. <laughs> Or will I? All right, let's go. Actually, what are my orders right now? I still gotta do night, so let's go to a night. Let's go. No, let's go peacekeeper. Let's go peacekeeper, and I'll give you another XP boost, Havoc. Why does Havoc hate breach? It's no brain. It really is. It is very difficult to do well for him. For me, Naruto was just was just up to the tuning exams. Never watched Shippuden. Zabuza was the goat. I liked Naruto through the tuning exams, and I was okay with the Sasuke retrieval arc. Everything after that kind of went downhill for me. I could put up with Shippuden to an extent, okay? I could put up with Naruto Shippuden to an extent, but the problem with Naruto, but the problem is, at, I think, and I've said this before, I think Naruto should have ended at the pain arc. Once the pain arc was finished, all the loose ends were wrapped up, you know? The Akatsuki is pretty much defeated, who were the big bad guys we've been building up. The Tail Beast Hunt is all over, supposedly. There's no Hokage in place right now because Tsunade is down, and so Naruto could very easily slide into that. Um, Sasuke kills Itachi, and then he could come back to the Leaf Village after that. Obito is still alive, sure, but Conan could have killed him. We could have had Conan kill him and be done with that. You know, we could have had everything just nightly, nicely wrapped up, everything just cleaned up nice and fine after the pain arc. But no, they had to keep Obito and had to have Sasuke go to Obito and then had to have Madara show up and then had to have all this. It, it got so old so fast. Dang it. I couldn't fight all three of them. Peacekeeper may be buff. She's not a goddess. Um, also, since we haven't talked about fanfiction in the stream, I remember one Naruto X Tayuya long fic. And I cannot for the life of me remember what the name was. Naruto X Tayuya? Who was Tayuya again? I don't remember all the Naruto characters. Who was Tayuya? Was she a Leaf Village ninja? I don't remember. Who was Tayuya? Zabuza is the goat. He's dope. Zabuza was awesome. I actually, Zabuza's voice actor is absolutely goaded. He is so incredible. Um, he was one of my favorite early villains, okay? He's way better than Orochimaru to me. What are you guys hoping is the next hero skin? I'm hoping it's a Lawbringer or a Conqueror skin. Um, the girl with the flute that Shikamaru... Wait, hold on. Toyuya was the flute girl from the uh, Sound 4? From, like, from that girl who fought Shikamaru who had, a, like, a sailor's tongue? Uh, do you remember in the Sasuke Retrieval arc, she was yeah, one of the... I remember, I remember the... You don't... No, what I was saying is, it, she, th there was apparently a fanfic of Naruto and Tayuya. And Tayuya... Why? Tayuya was that vulgar girl that Shikamaru fought in the Sasuke Retrieval arc. Why? That's what I want to know. It's like, why? They have no chemistry. They've never met. What, is it because they're both short? Short? That's a grudge. Yeah, Havoc is talking right now about how he can't wait for the Elden Ring DLC. He's going to stream that like every day. And I get it. You need Every now and then you need a break from For Honor. I get that. I like how the warden in the story mode is voiced by Gara's English voice actor. I know, I noticed that too. But it's funny, I kind of prefer the female voice actress because of like I feel like she puts more personality into it. Like in the scene where she, where the warden goes to back up uh, Stone uh, to help out, when, when he goes, "Where's the rest of you?" and then they go, "I'm it." Gara's voice actor goes more, "I'm it." I'm like, okay. But with the girl, it's like, "I'm it." <laughs> like.
Okay, move. Crap! Uh, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. What? Anyway, <clears throat> just like I'm it. <laughs> like I just thought that was cute. I don't know. Um, AKA Naruto X Sakura, but without Ogali, I wonder what Sasuke thinks of me. Wait, people are comparing to Yuya to Sakura? Actually, now that I think about it, they are kind of similar. Both are kind of bitches, you know. But to you, you know what? No, no, we shouldn't compare to you to Sakura. We shouldn't do that. That's mean. To you, you was likable, okay? To you, you actually had skill. She was kind of cool, had a unique kind of jutsu style that was her own. Um, that whole musical flute thing. Um, and she actually uh, was kind of engaging. I actually kind of liked certain aspects about her, but uh, I can't say the same about Sakura. Are you both just going to... Thank you! Alright, I died, but I bled her out like a stuck pig. Zerk, they're all yours. Ah, oh, no! Zerk, you've got this, bro! You've got this, bro! I need to see this. Zerk, no! No! Yes! Yes! Pick me up, Zerk! Atta boy! Atta boy! You did it! You did it! I'm back in action. Thank you, bro. Ah, oh, it was gorgeous. Very close. Um, you need to pick up people from airport. I'll be back later. Later, Aaron. Hope to hear from you later tonight. Maybe not. I always like the male voice actors more just because I always felt especially in the more serious ones that I had a lot more emotion in his voice than the female voice actors. Uh, depends. It really does depend. But again, like I said, I felt like I, I felt like I thought that I think the girls did a better job with Warden at the very least. I've never been good at uh, deflecting the. Uh, okay. Oh, dang it. You got me. The, oh, don't start with the thanks now, bro. You don't want to start with that. Don't. Not when your team is this. D dude, dude, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. So is Luffy Japanese an English voice actor? Yeah, they're great. They do a good job. I'm pretty sure Goku is also voiced by a lady. Yeah, she was. Well, in the Japanese, yeah. Griffin, Griffin, you remember how you were thanking me earlier? You remember that? You remember that? G Griffin? Griffin? Hold on, Griffin? 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 Hold on, Griffin, where are you going? Where are you going, Griffy? Where are you going, old man? Why are you running? Why are you running, old man? Why are you running? Ah, uh, he's turned on, he's turned on his... What happened, bro? Yeah, he wanted me dead. He wanted me dead. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, I'll drop thanks all day, bro. Hold on, let's all give him the thanks, boys. Let's all give him the thanks, boys. Let's all give him the thanks, boys. Hold on, hold on. There we go. You don't get to do that, bro. You don't get to go thanks, thanks when you're that low. Yeah, dude, step off. Step off. I may have been worse than you in this game, but you know what? That's cold. Goku's voiced by a woman in Japan. Yeah, Goku's Japanese voice actress is a woman. Y'all didn't know this? <laughs> Yeah. 
One more match and Havoc makes it. In honor of Havoc being one step away, we gotta go Ruth. So what's your feelings on Dragodonga 2? There's a whole lot of hoopla about it going on. Sounds like a lot of hoopla! 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 <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you the XP boost. Okay, so my thoughts on Dragon's Dogma 2. I think this. I'm very, very, very upset because last night I was trying to play Rise of the Ronin, a game I've been waiting on forever, was super excited to play it, and started streaming it, and then suddenly the whole chat, while I was trying to talk about what I love about the game, devolved into Dragon's Dogma 2 debate about whether or not it was good or bad. Like, it just went off the rail. I, it felt like when I was looking at chat... I wanted to hear people talk about, oh, what's this aspect of the game? Did this guy exist in history? Who is this person? Can you do this in game? I was looking for that. Instead, I got, dude, Dragon Zelda 2 lets you do this and this and that. No, it let, it, you for, you're forced to buy this. It's just a bunch of microtransactions. The only, the, and the reason it came up was because I did mention that someone asked me, hey, Raven, are you going to play Dragon's Dogma 2? And all I said was, I don't know. I wanted to play this more, and I've heard some negative things about it from my brother and online, so I just wasn't sure. And then, boom, the whole chat turned into Dragon's Dogma 2 defense and Dragon's Dogma 2 offense. And I was just done. I was very disappointed because I didn't want the stream to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2 the whole time. And that's what it did. For about half the stream, that was all it talked about. And so I was very upset with that. I was very upset with that. So if you want, if you want my opinions on Dragon's Dogma 2 now, I will give you my opinions on Dragon's Dogma 2 now. Here is my opinion. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a game. It is most definitely a game that was released by a company. And as I understand it, it is a sequel to an original game called Dragon's Dogma. And I also understand it has a pretty cool create-your-own-character system. I watched Havoc start the game. Looked pretty interesting. Saw Gorgon in there. That was pretty tight. Fighting mechanics looked a little similar to Monster Hunter, which I like. Yeah, so there is that. But I have heard, and I cannot guarantee, confirm, or deny, but apparently there are a lot of microtransactions involved in this game where they require you to pay certain things or require you to do certain things in order to get things that you want. For example, the one that Lark told me about. They did not add... Yeah, I brought Ruth for the special occasion, Havoc. I wanted to help you out. They did not add... Um, They did not add fast travel because they said, we want you to explore the world and enjoy it. And which is fine. But then apparently you can pay $3 to have the experience. You shouldn't emote spam me when I have a teammate here to kick your ass. Wait, that was Father Boo? That was the, the, the this, this, the, the, guys, this is the Griffin from last time. I'm so honored. I could do there but anyway yeah so that my opinion on the game is pretty clear oh you, you wanted to thank me for your kill okay dude what are you you're a level one Tion D with a Mexican flag emblem I'm not gonna say anything to that um, <laughs> let's see uh, but yeah no I really don't want to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2 I really don't want to talk about it I don't know anything about the game. I'm not familiar with the first game. I saw that Havoc played it. It looked kind of interesting. But then I heard uh, Lark tell me, you know, there's some weird stuff going on with that game. Maybe we should wait a little while and see. Okay. I bring that up in a stream where I'm playing a game I'm actually engaged with. And the response that the 
fans gave me was, why aren't you playing this game? Well, he shouldn't play that game because of this and this and that. Oh, but why? But you don't know about this. Oh, people are just raging to rage about this game now. Couldn't do it. But yeah, so no, Dragon's Dogma 2 has kind of left a bitter taste in my mouth because I was super excited for um, this game for to stream Rise of the Ronin, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to because people... And it wasn't just Dragon's Dogma, to be 100% fair. It wasn't just Dragon's Dogma 2. It wasn't just that. Other things happened during the stream that they basically let me know. I wasted my time on that. I was very upset. Thank you. Yeah, I had to get your lights in there, didn't you, bro? Kill them, guys. Kill them. Kill them proper. Sorry I brought it up. I thought you'd like the game. I should have expected people to ruin everything. I'm adjusting my expectations for others thanks to this. No, Sushi, you didn't ruin anything. I'm glad you asked, because I wanted to get that out there. I wanted to explain... Let's give him thanks, too. Um, I wanted to explain my issues. I wanted to explain why Dragon's Dogma 2 has become a hot-button issue for me. Rise of the Ronin, I am enjoying. I am very much liking the game. I love just about everything that Team Ninja releases. I love Neo. I love Neo 2. I love Wolong. And right now, I love this game. You quit? Will you stay and eat your medicine? Oh, and Father Boo pulls out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Give me some! Give me some! What a way for Havoc to get to his rep 80! What a way for Havoc to get to his rep 80, boys! Yes! Yes! How Neo was Ronin? Um, not really. It was very much not like Neo Sushi because there's nothing supernatural about it. It's literally, it's basically Assassin's Creed, but with Neo-like character customization and design. Oh no, he didn't get it, guys. He didn't get it. Well, we got to go one more time as Ruth then. It's okay, Havoc. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get I'll do Ruth again. I'll do Ruth again. Thank you. 
God's made in myself. He wasn't one XP off. He forgot that once you hit 20, you still have to go past 20s. That's why I was confused. Rise of the Ronin is a PS5 exclusive. Hey, Katsu. But yeah, basically, to, ima to imagine it, imagine an open world... Uh, imagine Assassin's Creed in Japan... With Neo style characters and graphics, cool Japanese weapons. Uh, basi ba that's basically what it is. That's basically what it is. And it is so amazing. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm so sad that, that we won't be streaming it anymore. I'm I'm sad about that. Well, it wasn't just that sushi. Um it, it, it wasn't just that, because even after that ended, even after the Dragon's Dogma discussion ended, someone else came into the chat and started talking about stuff that didn't really matter, you know? And I was, and it just got spammy, and that got annoying, and then later on, the, and then later on, people just started leaving, you know? I think, I think the stream, the stream for uh, Rise of the Ronin, we went from about maybe 46 viewers at, at peak... Got him. But yeah, um, was it the B1 Optimus Prime? No, it was someone else. It was someone else. How did Ruth's attack go through his parry? What? Okay, I died that one. I died to that one, my fault. $10 in that one mime, how much to change your mind on doing another Ronin stream? More than that, I'm afraid. I appreciate the donation, I really do. $10 is very nice. But honestly, here's my thing. It's not just to spite those people. It's not just for that. Rise of the Ronin is a game that I really, really enjoy. But I don't think it will get a viewership. I really don't. I don't think a lot of people will care to watch it. Because like I said, it went from 46 viewers maybe around the midpoint. But then literally within five minutes it dropped to 20. Like it dropped really low really fast. Because I think people either got sick of the community or they got sick of the game. I don't know which. It doesn't matter which. But point is people lost interest and so i don't know I, I mean i appreciate it i really do and i'm not asking for more money i'm just saying okay you want an honorable fight after that little thanks bull crap you pulled See, you're not afraid. You're not gonna give me an honorable fight. You're not gonna give me an honorable fight. You're gonna do whatever the hell you want to do, Kyandi. So don't pretend. 
anyway, maybe not, I'd love another stream. I'll admit I messed up a bit myself. Someone started talking Japanese history and I nerded out and I got very distracted, so I'm very sorry. Colin, you were not the one who did it. Hell, I would have loved it if people talked Japanese history in the chat. That would have been what I wanted, but it wasn't Japanese history that derailed the stream. Tell you what, um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Easter's coming up, so streams are going to be a little, uh, are going to be a little tight coming up. Like, we've only got limited time to do streams before Easter. After Easter, I may try again. No promises, but I may be willing to try again. Oh, look at you throwing your feet, Glad. Even though you outnumber me three to one, I can I can understand, Glad. A rep seventy, Glad, terrified of a war. Yeah, I can understand your terror, Glad. I can understand it. I'm going to go to A to prevent them from running back and healing. Run away now, Glad. I mean, I understand. You're terrified for your life. All gladiators have an inherent fear of those better than them. Run away now! Look at him run! I love this guy! What a coward! Oh, and he still dies! He still bites it! I'm done with you people. You capture zone C. All right, Glad, come back up here. Come back up here, Glad. Ooh, running to B now. Okay. Let's see if I can't offer a helping hand. Isn't this the part where you should be running away, Glad? No? Oh, he had his friends. Glad had the power of friendship on his side. No, we're turning B around. I'm not letting this stand. Hold on. Glad, did you find a friend? He found a friend! Glad found a friend. Isn't that cute? A rep 70 Glad who has to run away from a, th from a fight 
A Rep 70 Glad who has to go find his friends to save his ass. Yeah, that, that to me is the mark of a true warrior. You coward. You know what? No, I'm not letting that stand. I'm going out there to back these boys up. We're going to take back C. Let's see if Gladiator wants to run from me now. Do you feel like a big man, Gladiator? <laughs> Again, Glad has to have to have friends to save his ass. Fuck this match. Fuck this match and that cowardly Gladiator. I know! Even Havoc is saying, how the F is that Glad Rep 70? How is that even possible? How is that possible? That, 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 that is unbelievable. How is that Glad Rep 70? He had 23 kills. I don't believe that for a second. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Havoc. Havoc, you poor thing. Oh, no. He's one XP away. You're one XP away. <laughs> <laughs> Havoc! Havoc! Go! Oh. Hold on, I'm pulling out. I need to pull out for a second. Oh! Do you, do you even want me to pull you into another? Wow. Do, uh, do you want to duel? Well, we continue. Yeah. Uh, let's go. I got gotcha. you one more time. That that was rough. That was rough. Oh. Uh, uh. Um. We have to win, guys. Okay, buckle up. We need to win this. I'm sorry, I'm all out of XP boost, Havoc. I can't give it to you. I gotta let him know. I just told Havoc I'm all out of XP boots. He goes, no, I'm not going to get that 18 XP out. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Havoc right now. 
This has got to be it. Lock it in, boys. Ah, I fell for that one. Still got the kill though. Oh, dang it. I got the kill, but I still got killed by Kensei. Dang it. Why is everyone playing Griffin right now? Griffin didn't get a buff. Hold on. Hold on, Havoc. Hold on. The Black Friar's a bot? Thank you for the pen. Thank you for the pen. Thank you for the pen. I'll take that. You gotta get to see. Hold on, Havoc. Hang on, brother. You leave Havoc alone. You leave Havoc alone, he is my brother! No, hold on. I need to stay and see. They will come back to it and I will not allow them to take it. This is my zone. This is my zone. Oh, so Kensei chooses to fight me again, does he? You move with the grace of a drunken peasant! Be gone, the spoiler! Be gone, the spoiler! I will not allow you to sully Havoc's win! You lost zone Keep that B zone controlled, Havoc. I hold the C. For it is C for Corvus. Corax! Which means Raven, for those of you who don't know. Come, Kinsey! We shall fight again!
How did that work? Very well done, sport. Sea shall not fall while I hold it. This shall be the final stand of Ruth. Be gone! I was! I was out of stamina. I was out of stamina. I was out of stamina, I'm sorry. We haven't lost yet. Really? Law Ringer, this is the way you want to do it? I've got to focus on taking his own. Kensei. Ow, dang it. Oh, I'm sorry, have it. I'm sorry. No, we will not give up. We will not give up. Who's my favorite here in this game? Warden. I will not quit fighting! Alright, well... What the hell? Griffin? Forgive me, Havoc. I gave it my absolute best, but I could not do it. I don't understand what happened. We were doing really well, and then, man... That sucks. We were doing real well, and then this happened. Oh well. He did it. He got it. He got the rep eighty. He did it, guys. He totally did it. Let's pull out for him. Ah. He did it, guys.
Glad I could help. Ooh. I need a drink. <laughs> this song's getting on my effing nerves now. <laughs> He's picking a color palette, so let's give him a minute, guys. I'll see if he wants to keep playing or not. $250? That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man, I'm so proud of Havoc right now. That's awesome. No, it looks like he added someone. I guess he wants to go again. Okay. Do I still need to play a knight? Let me see. No, I'm done with knight. I can play anyone I want. It's like, XP boost? No! I have no more to give. Have it. Let's go. Okay, they've got a raider, Shaolin, and warden. I feel like I need to go a samurai. Let's go. Let's go Nobu Wushi. Man, seeing that hot pink uh, warden is so weird. Look at that crap. Look at that crap, man. Look at that hot pink warden over there. That's the new material that comes with getting rep aided. Slanesh nonsense. His slanesh. Oh, is that true? Hey, Havoc just said in his stream that he's glad that a lot of his community has taken a liking to me. Is anyone in my community, is anyone here right now a Havoc fan? Anyone here come to me through Havoc? Is that is that something that happened?
I'm not gonna be in the picture, no. I wanna be in the pic, but I died fighting these two friends. They're obviously friends. Hold on, I want to. I want to be in the picture. Havoc, hold on. Let me let me get in the picture. Havoc, let me join in. Wait, that's Helena. I didn't realize it before, but the but our boy's playing Helena. I did not expect that. Oh, my community's saying that they found Havoc from me. Oh. Oh, so it's not that my community... Oh, okay, it's the other way. doing three kills okay yeah everyone says that they found havoc through me let me let me tell them that just to, just just so that he knows Just let him know. I, I think that's funny. He was saying, hey, you know, I'm glad that my community likes you. It's like, I think my community came to you. <laughs> I, think, I think it's the other way around. Uh, I think it's a bit of both. Maybe, maybe. Let me get closer. How's that, guys? Taking a picture of that. <laughs>
There we go. Ah, crap. Thank you, Helena. There we go. Yes, just like this. Just like this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I love this. I love this match, guys. Even if we lose, I love this match. That sucks. Ooh, what a deflect! Man, good with that deflect. That 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 be that be hitting something different. All right, Ken says a little salty. Ken says a little salty. Okay, okay. He was though. Wailed on there. Good fight, guys. That was fun. Yeah, he hit at rep eighty. He's there. God, that was that was great. That was great. All right, ha Havoc's logging off. Havoc's logging off. All right, well, while Havoc's heading off, we will all go do one breach map, and then that'll do it for us, huh? That'll do it for us. That was awesome, Havoc. <laughs> yeah, cheers for being here, guys. I appreciate you all. Yeah, we'll go over 
last night. It's very late. Yep, it is. All right. I'll stop you for the Wrestle, maybe? Yeah, I'll send it to you. <laughs> send that to me, Havoc. I gotta have it. Oh, it's so awesome. Anyway, uh, love y'all. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care. Take care, Havoc. Have a good night. And as for us, we will do one breach, and then that will end it. Oh, wrong one. Actually, I, hold on. Let me say that. Low, it looks like a lot of people have stopped playing last year or standing, and I don't blame them. I agree with John DeLiner's take. John DeLiner had a take that he says the game mode is interesting, but it's not quite there. Um, and I agree with his take on that. Lord Thunder, okay, you've been doing that joke the whole stream. Chill out, bro. We got it. It's a Transformers joke. You said it earlier. You can stop. You can stop now. We got it. Hey, Ruben, was Commodore Perry justified in opening Japan? Yeah, I mean, he was trying... Here's the thing. He wasn't trying to just open Japan. He was trying to do it before anyone else. The whole world wanted to open up Japan. Germany did. France did. Britain did. Everyone wanted to open up Japan. Perry wanted to do it before anyone else. He wanted to get American trade signed on with Japan before any other country could. That was his goal. Here's the thing. Japan was going to open up. That was never in doubt. Japan was going to open up. The only question was when. When was he gonna? When were they gonna open up, and who were they going to open up first to? And Perry wanted to wanted Japan to open up to them first. Like, hey, because the president basically said, Perry, once you get into Japan, and once you tell them, we want to trade with them, okay? And we're gonna do this in the most peaceful way we possibly can. We're gonna do this as peacefully as we can. The problem was Japan at the time had been doing some shady shit. You see, Japan had this policy that they would take prisoner any foreign invaders that showed up on the shore. Well, an American boat crashed on Japanese shores, and they arrested all the sailors that were on the ship, and were even killing a few of them, like executing a few. Perry shows up, and he basically lands in, uh, on, the, on the shores, and he says, Okay, listen up. Um, I was sent by my president to open up trade with you guys. Uh, you're going to take me to your leader, and you're going to release all of our... Uh, captured sailors and they said no 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 no. you don't get to talk to us you don't get to talk to us you, you got to go through you got to talk to the emperor and you don't even have the right to go to the emperor you don't get that right you've got to wait to go through nagasaki you got to go through all these checks and balances you, you basically got to go through the system like everyone else perry looked them all in the eye and he said no hold on here's how this is going to work guys this is a white flag hold this i want you to raise this white flag from your highest tower when you're tired of me bombarding your cities for, with cannon fire. And that was the message saying, I'm not here to wait. I'm here to negotiate or destroy. You decide which I do. And they suddenly said, you know what? The, sh the, the, the emperor will see you now. That's how that worked. Perry, Perry took no prisoners, okay? He was very... He, he, here's the thing. He didn't hate Japan. He was actually very fascinated by them and thought they were a fascinating culture. But he wasn't going to sit around and wait for them to get their shit together. He, was basically, he wasn't one to just fall for this diplomatic nonsense. He said, no, no, you're going to give me what I asked for, or I'm going to start destroying your shores. You thought it would be fun. Well, I mean, it was funny, the first, but do you know the rule of three? Most jokes are funnier three times, but the more you do it, the more people get tired of it. It's kind of like if I said, why did the Christian chicken cross the road three times during a stream? You kind of go, okay, it was funny the first two times. Hey, Raven, love the vid. See you the next time you're live. All right, brother. Have a good one. Hey, Raven, you're sounding better? I feel better. My nose is still stopped up, and my throat's still a little sore, but I'm doing a lot better than I was. Who's my favorite Outlander? Either Magi or Aphira, just for gameplay purposes. In terms of lore, Pirate.
Why did the chicken cross the road? Because life is all about evolution and advancement. We all must move forward in life in order to get anywhere. That's the joke. No, I said, I like, I was saying, why did the chicken cross the road? Because life is all about evolution and advancement. We must continue to move forward to get anywhere in life. That's the joke. <laughs> Ravenite Perry probably earned some people's hate and respect. Yeah, most certainly. There were plenty of Japanese people who hated him and plenty who liked him. Because you see, in Japan at the time, you had two sides. You had the anti-shogunate and the pro-shogunate movements. The anti-shogunate movements hated him. They hated Westerners, hated foreigners, and wanted them all out of Japan. The pro-shogunate movements liked them because they wanted to see Japan modernized. It's actually really funny how the Shogun switched his positions. <laughs> See, at first the Shogun was all for trade with America and outside forces. They were all for that because Japan at the time needed that stability. They needed to modernize and he wanted that. Because Japan was struggling at the time with a lot of infighting and a lot of distrust and a lot of these uh, other problems. They thought that some Western influence would help them out in a, in a big way, so they were cool with that. Um, so the Shogun was all for Western influence. But then, once Western influence got bigger and bigger, he figured out, wait, hold on, you want our government to look like yours too? No, no, see, we're not, we don't want that because that'll destroy our samurai system. And the Americans and British all said, well, yes, that's the point. You, you, you've got to do away with that. Uh, like, if you want to be like us, if you want to be modernized, you got to get rid of your fuel system. And the Shogun said, no, no, we don't like that. And then the Emperor said, yeah, I've got to side with my Shogun on this one, until the Americans said, but you'd be the one getting the power. Wait, I'd be the one in charge again? Go on. <laughs> and the Shogun goes, now hold on, Emperor. Hold on now. Remember who has the soldiers? And the American said, we'll train you an Imperial Army. You don't need to rely on the Samurai. Go on. <laughs> and the Shogun says, um. You wanted to say something there. No. Wait, you didn't have any thoughts on that? General MacArthur. General MacArthur was the head of the Pacific Theater um, in World War II. Basically, he's the one who marched onto Japanese soil after the bombs were dropped and said, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. He's the one who walked up to the Emperor and said, here's a radio piece. Let them all know that you're not the son of a god, that you're a mortal man, and that you surrender to the West. He's the man often called Old Ironside. Good night, Lord Thunder. Hey, Raven Dudham. Oh, okay. Take a photo with me to show that I'm taller as well. <laughs> Did they do that, Lord? Did Dunlux and Mark Arthur, after talking to the Emperor, let them all know that you're mortal, let them know you surrender, and also stand next to me and take a photo so that you can try to tolerate. 
Not quite. What they told MacArthur was they said there are several rules you have to follow when uh, dealing with the emperor. And he made sure to break every single one of them was in his presence. To which the emperor was like, hi, right, cool. Well, the emperor wasn't in a position to bitch. Yep. Basically, what MacArthur wanted to do is he wanted to let the Japanese know you no longer have any power. That's why he brought him to the meet on a battle to going, you didn't take this one. Who's the worst character in the game? In terms of get in terms of gameplay, like in terms and all that, I'd say Lawbringer right now, because he is so pathetic. Um in terms of design. Probably uh Shaman or Berserker. And in terms of lore, probably Magi. I feel like he needs more than what he's got. Hey Raven, I heard that the Japanese are so atheistic because the Emperor renounces divinity. No, they're atheistic uh, because um, the Japanese don't, th though they're spiritual, the Japanese don't see a lot of need in faith in gods. They may, here's the thing, in Japan you could be born with Shinto uh, marriage, with Shinto birthrights, Married in a Christian church and given a Buddhist funeral. Because the Japanese are spiritual, but they don't have a real faith. Because they don't see the need. To them, the Japanese, in a very big sense, are pragmatists. Everything they do has to serve some kind of purpose. Like, they have to believe that what they're doing matters. And that it will somehow enrich them financially, socially... Like, the way they look at it is, if it doesn't benefit me to do this, why would I do it? And they look at Christianity and they kind of say the same thing. They kind of go, why do I need this? Like, this worked well for you Americans. Why do I need this? You know, that, that's kind of the idea. Like, they don't see it benefiting them financially or socially or culturally. In fact, in many ways, they see it as counterproductive because... Christianity tells to give of yourself, to be merciful, to help others, and, the, and that doesn't always correlate with the idea of doing what you need to do. The Japanese, plus the Japanese have a very sore relationship with the Catholics, let's put it that way. Japan and, Japan and Christians didn't have a good start, let me be real. Um, the, 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 uh, the, Christian, the, the Catholic Church and Japan did not have a good start. They had a very, very rocky beginning. It's not that Japan dislikes Christianity or religion in general. It's just they don't see the need, you know? To them, it's just like, why do we need it? Had a better start than the Japanese and the Koreans, at least. Um, wait, what, what are we talking about here? Actually, Christianity had a better start in Korea than it did in Japan. Because Korea right now really likes Christianity. Well, scratch that. South Korea really likes Christianity, but probably not for the same reasons. South Korea likes Christianity because they like anything American. They like anything Western. And why do they like anything Western? Because North Korea doesn't like anything Western. It's kind of like, oh, North Korea hates this? We love it now. This is so good. What's it about? Oh, who cares? North Korea doesn't like it, so we do. But a lot of what South Korea and North Korea do is often despite each other. Literally, at the border between North Korea and South Korea, there is a loudspeaker between both sides where the North Koreans shout propaganda at the South Koreans and the South Koreans shout insults at them. You can hear it. Like... Your leader's a fat, ugly loser. No, he's not. Your people are stupid American suck-ups. Yeah, better to be better to be fed, you know, because we suck down food. You don't even have food over there. We do, too. Our glorious leader gives us food. Yeah, the stuff that he has is porked on. Like, just, that's pretty much what goes on 24-7 at the border. That's pretty much what goes on. They are a very spiteful people. <laughs> 
My ex-girlfriend, Duryon, used to say the only reason that South Korea and North Korea would ever unify would be to get back at Japan. But I'm convinced that even that wouldn't be enough. They just hate each other too much. Better to be fed than red. Yeah. Soy North Korea versus Chad South. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, Japan and Christianity didn't have a good start. And the arrival of, uh, John, of, uh, not John Adams, I was about to say John Adams, um, William Adams didn't help matters for them. So yeah, when it comes to Christianity, Japan had a bad start, Korea had a funny start, China, that's complicated. Yeah, Christianity was popular in Korea for a while. I, that's what I said. I said it started off well in Korea. That didn't go my way at all. Anyway. Because the problem that Japan had with Christianity was not doctrine. They didn't really hate the doctrine. They hated that uh, Christianity was trying to take control of the government. And for a while they did, believe it or not, Christianity kind of had the government by the throat. And that's why they kind of, well not today necessarily, but that's why Japan had a very bad opinion of Christianity starting out. Because they were at the Christians' mercy for a long time. I've been practicing my light parries and I still can't get it. Yay, we won! We did it! That's not very Christian-like. What, 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 what happened in Japan? Well, you gotta understand... Yay, we made it to Rep 45 with Ruth. Awesome. Um, but yeah, no, um... So you got to understand, when Japan, when, when the Christian church was taking over the Japanese government, they didn't do it directly. They were very sneaky the way they did it. They were very sneaky. See, how it worked was this. I'll explain what happened and then I'll need to go because um, it is late and Lark and I both have work tomorrow. Okay, so here's what basically went down. Um... Um, Raven, I saw a video called Does the Christian Should Proud of the Crusades Thoughts? We should be proud of the Crusades. I think we should be proud of many things about the Crusades. Not everything that took place, but I think we should be proud that we did them. Um, the Crusades had a purpose. But anyway, back to the point. Um, so what happened was this. The Catholic Church was at war with the Protestants. And right now they were fighting over trade. Like, who could trade where? Um, and one thing they wanted was they wanted to open up trade with China and Japan better. They got to Japan and found out that Japan had a problem. Japan did not have silkworms and they needed silkworms to make kimonos and clothes and things like that. They needed silk. Who had silk? China. China has silk. So they need to trade for silk with China. What does China want from Japan? Silver. Japan has a lot of silver mines. But there's a problem. Even though they both have what each other want, they hate each other because of years of bad blood between the two countries. So, Japan and China don't want to trade with each other because they don't trust each other. So the Catholics, who have ports in both, China, in both China, Macau, and Japan, basically say, hey, here's a compromise. We will use our black ships, which is our trading ships, and we will do the trade for you by proxy as long as we get a cut of the profits. So Japan said okay, and China said okay. So the two sides decide to start trading. And at first, everything is working out great because neither China nor Japan have to deal with each other. They just have to go through the Catholic Church and the Catholics get to spread their faith in those countries, right? Sounds good. But there's a problem. They, the church found out that they are making an absolute mint off of this deal. They are making tons of money, and they realize 
they could make more. So what do they do? They decide to start hiking prices of whatever they're selling and then decreasing prices when buying. So in other words, they'll take the silk from China, go to Japan and say, hey, we brought the silk, that'll be this much money. But in reality, it was less than that when they bought it. So basically, let's say, let's use American equivalencies. Let's say that the silk that they bought was the equivalent of $100. Then they go to Japan and say, this will be $150. That way they get a little bit of an extra cut. They were basically running a treasure trove in Japan and China. And while they were doing this, they were also spreading their religion everywhere. And this caused a lot of the Japanese and Chinese to start converting to Christianity. They start building their temples and their churches everywhere. They start convincing people to start converting to the faith. And you might think, well, that's okay. They're getting people to convert. Yeah, but they still didn't consider the Japanese truly Christian. In order to be truly Christian, to become truly priests, you have to go to Rome. you got to actually go to the Vatican. And not every Japanese person was willing to do that. In fact, many Japanese people saw Christianity as kind of a fun little hobby rather than they did an actual faith. So many of the so many of the Jesuits didn't even look at the didn't even look at the Japanese as truly a saved people or a people worth saving. But the whole point was we're making money off these guys for the Pope. Let's keep going because as long as we keep making money here, we can fund everything else the Pope wants to do in Europe. Because the Pope is currently at war with the Protestants. Remember, they need that money, so they got to keep moving money from Asia to fund the war effort. So right now, Japan is basically at the mercy of the Church which is not good because Japan just recently at this point that we're talking about lost their regent Toyotome Hideyoshi and then along comes William Adams William Adams was a navigator or pilot as you will for a Protestant Dutch ship who crash landed on the shores of Japan this is something the Catholics did not want to happen because a Protestant now knows the way to Japan and the Catholics, and now the Japanese realize, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me not all you Christians get along? You mean to tell me there's a whole sect of Christianity separate from the Pope? You mean to tell me that you Christians are at war with each other? And you're using our money to profit at this? Oh my. So William Adams gets in touch with Tokugawa Ieyasu, one of the big daimyo who's making a move to become the new shogun. And Tokugawa likes William. For one thing, William's really good at languages. He picks up on the Japanese language really quick. Two, William does not like the Catholics, and he doesn't like them being in Japan, and he's willing to help Tokugawa take them down a peg. And three, William Adams knows how to build ships and pilot them, which means he could take over trading for Japan and China rather than the Catholics. So Tokugawa goes, I like this guy. I like William. I like you. And he becomes one of Tokugawa's personal friends and interpreter when dealing with Westerners. And the Catholics know that they can't get by with anything around William because William isn't going to cater to them. Now, here's the thing. They can't just push the Catholics out entirely. They're kind of stuck there. And William knows that. But if he's Tokugawa's personal interpreter, and the Catholics want to do deals with Tokugawa, they can't use a Catholic interpreter to lie. William won't let them. So, that is how the Christian, the Christian stuff started with Japan. After Tokugawa died and his children started taking over, they were not quite as friendly as the Christian, uh, to the Christians as before. See, they saw the Christians as a threat. Um, they saw Christianity as a big threat. They saw it like this. Let's say that the Pope gets into a war near Japan. Let, in fact, let's say that the Pope wants to take over Japan. Who will the Christian daimyo and samurai side with? Will they side with the Shogun, as is their right, or will they side with the Pope? And so they start limiting Christian rights and privileges. They start cracking down on Christianity. This cracking down of rights eventually leads to a big rebellion, the Satsuma Rebellion. And this rebellion led to finally just ending Christianity in Japan altogether. They gave the Christian daimyo a choice, either accept exile, commit seppuku, or give up your faith. Many gave up their faith, because again, many of them just saw it as a hobby. Some refused to give up their faith, and they were exiled, and that, that all went down. 
But basically, they tried to get rid of all Christianity in Japan, and that changed after um, Sakoku when the West finally managed to get Japan to open up. So that is basically the history there. No, that seems like a really good place for an Assassin's Creed game. Well, that's what Rise of the Ronin is, essentially. All right, well, it looks like y'all are pretty much checked out, so that's fine. We went a little longer than normal. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a good time tonight. Um, glad that we could help out Havoc. We will still do Persona 5. It'll just be on Thursday instead. Um, tomorrow is the reading stream, unless something comes up. And so look forward to that. We're going to be reading Tale of Tomaki, Monster Club, Shogun of Crime, and, of course, Tempest Blade. going to be awesome. Hey, Raven, is, how is Rise of Ronin? Is it worth the purchase? I think it is. I think it's well worth it. Um, anyway, uh, see you guys tomorrow. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.